Welcome back as we move into part two of this module in which you will learn how to read and understand a basic circuit diagram. Those of us who will soon be involved in working on hydraulic systems should be able to read a basic symbolic circuit diagram. A circuit diagram is essentially a plan of a system, indicating the various components, connections and other details of the system. We use circuit diagrams when, for example, we're trying to trace problems. Our demonstration unit is a very basic system which, if drawn as a circuit diagram, would appear like this. Let us build up this diagram step by step. There are essentially four major visible components that comprise our system, namely the reservoir or tank, the pump, the directional control valve, and an actuator. Each of these components is represented symbolically in the following way. This is the tank symbol. It is basically a simple outline of a typical rectangular shaped tank. This is the pump symbol. A pump is a rotating component. All rotating components are represented with a circle. The pump symbol here contains an energy triangle. When the point of an energy triangle faces outward, then it means that the device is directing its energy outward. The point of the triangle indicates the outlet position of the pump. Next we have the directional control valve. This symbol requires a fair amount of explanation, which we shall discuss later. We move on to the symbol for our particular actuator, which is a double-acting cylinder. A double-acting cylinder receives input, or flow, on either side of its piston. The two input connections are indicated on the cylinder symbol. Symbols, on paper, need not necessarily be drawn exactly in the positions that you will find them on an actual unit. The main flow of oil, moving between the components, is represented with solid lines, called working lines. Working lines represent the oil flow from the tank, through the main system, to the actuator, and back to the tank. Our circuit diagram now represents the main components and the working line connections. At this time, we need to add other components that are also featured on our unit, beginning with the pressure relief valve. Although our relief valve is physically built into the body of the directional control valve, it is represented, on a diagram, as being a separate unit. We shall look more closely at valve symbols a little later in the program. The next feature we need look at is a filter. The basic symbol for a filter and a strainer is the same, namely a diamond shape with a broken or dashed line through it. The broken line always crosses a working line at a right angle. The three filter symbols on our circuit are a tank strainer, a pressure line filter, and a return line filter. Note that the symbols are placed into their relevant working lines. As our system features a pressure gauge, we shall include this symbol on our diagram. Note that the pressure gauge is connected into the pressure line. A line connection is shown on a diagram with a solid dot. The diagram is nearing completion, and it could already be used to describe our system. There is, however, still the need for us to explain the meaning of certain features appearing in various symbols. These we shall describe after the break.